Hello and welcome back to another Kanehurst Customs, where today I'm going to be doing something with this. I don't know yet, because this is something special. Didn't know this was a rubbery, didn't know any of that. I had plans, they're not happening, so we're going to figure it out on this very special Kanehurst Customs. All right, so I know I complained about this thing earlier, but um, right here, I went in with my, the X-Acto knife, and it turns out that it's glued together like that right there, and you can just peel off with a little bit of strength some hot, hot water. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. And it, it has a whole sculpt, sculpt underneath this like rubber armor bit. There's like a hole in the chest with the ab crunch and everything. And this crotch piece is also like another rubbery type piece. Kind of like NECA's diaper type situation they have with some of their figures. But what I was able to get the head and the chest piece off. And I'm going to try and paint this. I'm not sure how well that's going to work with it being rubber. But uh, that'll be the next step once I'm done with the body. And from there, I might add some things. Again, this is kind of a... <clears throat> um, what am I trying to say? It's I, I don't have a set plan. There's no, I'm going to do this, 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 this. I'm just kind of winging it and hoping for the best. All right, so we have the base body painted pretty well. Uh, some gunmetal, some silver, some black. I was really having trouble working with my gold paint, so the belt is going to be a gunmetal. It's very sunny out right now, so kind of hard to pick that up. I also redid the cape. Black, silver, gunmetal, silver. I know it's really hard to see the head. I think I'm thinking of covering the mouth up so it looks like an empty suit. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but right now it's Dremel time. So I got these um, focus. I got these like little vase rocks uh, from the Dollar Tree, and there's a big, big bag of them. But after I dremeled out the knuckles, I um, super glued some small ones in there. And I just couldn't help but get like a kind of Infinity Gauntlet vibe from it at first. Uh, and then I just hit them with like a green highlighter and some glow-in-the-dark paint. And I did that on both hands. I honestly think Batman would be crazy enough to take a whole bunch of kryptonite and make an emblem out of it just to be a jerk. I think he's just that self-absorbed. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do like the crappiest Batman symbol ever. I'm gonna get some glow-in-the-dark hot glue. I'm gonna form that from the back. Get a couple more of these, glue them on probably hit it with that green highlighter again and then glue it to that chest that rubber chest that I just am so fond of working with and if you can't tell that's just complete sarcasm all right and here it is all finished the um, a redo of the Dark Knight Returns armored Batman customized in my own choosing um, I decided to throw these little like shoulder points on here along with the knuckles and the bat emblem um, I think it's the first Injustice game Lex Luthor has a suit you can unlock if you do a whole ton of nonsense that has like just giant chunks of kryptonite sticking out all over the place and I kinda like that idea so I did a little bit on the shoulders little bit on each hand with the knuckles and then this terrible bat symbol 
Oh, uh, it's so ugly, but it serves a point. Um, so they've got like a gunmetal with silver highlights and then black. Again, I couldn't, I could not work with my gold paints. They did, did not want to work with me. So I have a gunmetal on the belt, the crotch piece. Gunmetal on the boots, silver with spike, silver with the ankle cuffs, gunmetal, gunmetal, black, 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 gunmetal, silver, black, silver, gunmetal, gunmetal, black hands. Back of the cape is now black. The inner lining of the cape is silver, but the silver paint is just not adhering the way I would like to. So there is some, there is some blue coming, chipping. Yeah, you, you can see it. And then I just have like a standard DC collectible stand. The mouth, um, I just put some hot glue in there, painted it black. Um, I wanted to, I want it to look like it's empty, like he's not wearing it. Just kind of sitting there in the back of the cave. Looking all menacing, waiting for the day. The day he has to use it. But um that that black hot glue can come right out. It'll be a pain in the ass, but that'll come right out in case I want to pose him in it. But I honestly probably um, I also hit all of the kryptonite and the eyes with a glow-in-the-dark paint. Um, it glows fairly nicely. Uh, probably my next edit, I'll show that. But in the meantime, he there's no paint lock, so he still has all of his articulation, um, which was limited to begin with. Like the arms barely bend, hands still turn, the shoulders still go out that much. Like it was never a lot to begin with. Head still turns, a little bit of up and down, not much. But this is mostly just going to be sitting there in the background of the display looking all menacing. And that's that. I'll cut away to show the glow-in-the-dark bits next. Oh, I was just looking so good before I hit the record. Why do you do this to me? Why does the quality crap out on me when I'm recording? Oh, you can barely see it now. Oh, the crappy camera. But here was, um... Where are the knuckles? Crap. Uh, there's the hands. I'll take a picture and see if I can use that as the thumbnail later on. But, I mean, <laughs> trust me when I say it looks way better than this. But that's about the end of it from here. Um, I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. You know, it was a... Nice little Christmas present, getting this uh, figure and just working with it the way I wanted to. Um, that's 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 about it. Again, it was uh, fairly cheap to do all this. I got the glow in the dark hot uh, glue from Walmart. The kryptonite quotations rocks from the Dollar Tree. The glow-in-the-dark paint from Michaels. I get most of my paints from Michaels. Um, Multi-surface. But, um, yeah, that was about it. Um, if you have your own customs, you know, feel free to link something in the comments. Because you can do it, I can do it. And sure, there's probably people who did it better. But I want to thank you again for watching this video and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.